Hello everyone and welcome back to our Cricket 22 career mode guys. Episode number 17 where we are here again. We are on 145 of 265 deliveries facing up against Maino. But I will say we've made one significant change to the difficulty of this game. There you go. We cannot actually see the length of the ball anymore based on color. I've made all the lengths basically display as a white color, which basically means that I cannot tell what length of the ball is just based on the color of the ball, which does increase the difficulty of the game for me here now. So it will be interesting to see if we cope a bit better or a bit worse, I don't know, but it just makes the game just a little bit harder, which it should be at times because it does feel that batting is getting a little bit easier. So it's always good to add a bit of difficulty to the game, which I'm a massive fan of. So we'll see how we cope with it today. That is an on drive down the ground. It isn't to a gap. We'll get a couple. Now we are batting with Raka and we have racked up 338, now 340 in the first innings. But we're looking to try and bat once and bat big. So we kind of need to keep pushing on here. Can we reach 150 and beyond is the real question. We'll find out very soon. May note. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. I've played a drive, but I played it too late. And it's just edged and just hit the top of leg stump. And on 147, my marathon innings has to come to an end. 389 minutes. I don't see myself breaking that record anytime soon as Leo Leo makes his way to the crease. Mammoth knock comes to an end. Very disappointing, but it is what it is. We edge onto leg stump. We'll see how only Hunger cope, and they're coping okay, actually. In fact, very well. 250 up on the board, 265 they make, and instantly, as we cross 1,100 runs, we are one for six. Okay, well, um, so much for batting once and batting big. We got rolled for 381. We were 5 for 340. 5 for 41 to collapse at the end of that innings there. Raka 26 of 100. I assume he's the last player out based on that. So good good work from Raka. 6 for 74 from Haro. Maino does get us out for the first time as well. 82 of 135. 68 from Tom as well. I thought it was much worse than that. We do lead by 120 runs in the second innings and it, but it is day three so i assume at this point sometime during this day cone is going to declare but obviously being the captain himself it will be interesting to see when okay i just tried to drive a short one so instantly it just feels already that the change to the length in the game has made a big impact on my performance just because i don't quite know what to leave and defend and whatnot it's going to take a bit of getting used to Oh, that's pitched up. That's driven through the covers, through extra cover, and it will get to the boundary for four. Move to one for 10. We are off the mark after getting 147. Don't know how many overs have gone in the day. Here we go, 90 overs. That's a, that's a fair, fair amount of time. 132 is the lead. Disappointing to get out the way we did. Down the ground. Beats Maino. That will be a couple at least. Possibly looking for a third as well, just because it's going to take a bit of time. Dive. Honestly, that was a bit of a risk, but anyway, we get home. Nathan Nelson, once again, one of our top rivals. He's got us out twice. We're actually averaging over 50 against him now in the career mode. So he's not having a good time since he got me out twice. And straight away, he is not impressed because that is a four against his name. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a good shot. It just seemed away at the last minute. I was a bit scared I played just too square instead of playing straight, but it worked out in the end. Kanye Haro into the attack after his 6 for 74 in the first innings. Yep, driven through extra cover. Classic sort of shot against Haro, and it will be four more. The objective while we're batting here is to basically try and take as much time out of the game as possible and to score as much runs as we can. And as soon as I say that, Cone is gone for 37. Haro picks up his seventh wicket in the game. Gone for 37 or 53, caught behind. Lilo Kali to the crease, former captain. Yep. No one down and been on. Driven down, and that will reach the boundary as well for four. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, I thought I was caught in ball for a second there. Driven it past him, though. That will get to the boundary because no one is going to get close. Move to 31. That was risky, though. In the air. 
Oh, just short of him. Again, Nelson will not like that at all. As such, the bouncer comes out. Oh, dear. <laughs> just, well, yeah, it's fair to say the difficulty of the game has just gone up. I'm not going to lie. I've been struggling with that. Just trying to judge the length. And it seems I have misjudged this one. I've been given out LBW. It was probably hitting the stumps. Although, I actually, I cannot say for certain. We will have a look at the replay. But I'm gone for 32. That's a disappointment again. Every time you get out it is, though. And I got me a Tiger. Disappointing we don't end up batting with him. I was really going to look forward to seeing him bat in this sort of situation. Yeah, okay, fair play. It was striking off stump. Nelson becomes the first person to ever get me out three times as well. Oh, and Tiger's nearly out first ball. Okay, so I have simulated a head here. And Tau is on 28. Tiger on 47. The lead is over 300 runs now with four wickets down. So I expect that a declaration is around the corner. Nagala T is on 47. Can he bring up a quick fire 50? Oh, yeah, he can. He dabs that away. And there it is. Tiger brings up his 50. Well played to Tiger. Is that two in a row? I don't know, but he's got a couple in quick succession. And I'll take that. Well, I'll, you know, I'll take that. He'll take that. The team will take that. 50 off 69. We'll get around Tiger. Tiger did get out on 52 off 73, but... We declared 5 for 200. We did have enough runs at that point, though. Then he 314 runs to tie. 315 to win. 435 at the moment. Probably going to be a draw. So let's see how it pans out. I haven't skipped, and I'm at slip. Let's see if this goes to me, boys. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, it would have been scenes to go straight into the bread basket. And the match is indeed drawn. Haro takes the player of the match after taking 8 wickets in the match. Kai Tom, 77, not out, off 111. We were pretty robbed there of the player of the match because 147 runs to go with 32. I mean, that's a fair amount of runs. That's over about 170 odd runs in the match. Kanye Haro takes the player of the match. Unfortunate for us, that's for sure. The match is drawn. So he did do a very good job because we won on the first innings, which is really important to start the season off with a win in this format. 147 off 270. What a knock it was from myself, that's for sure. Supported by Cone. Tiger did get 50 in the first inning, so he got twin 50s as well. These stat upgrades, look at them. Look at them. They are monstrous, that's for sure. And we got some fielding skill-ups for the first time as well. We're 81 overall. Here we go. We're a long way off the Auckland Aces. And as I finally got my act together and got the Auckland Aces side pretty much downloaded, which is awesome to see. And, uh, well, look at that. I mean, we're a fair way ahead of our best players around the, the club. Leo Leo has skyrocketed up on the list, which is quite surprising. Pai Valley is actually better than Hyola Raka. That's not great to see. But with that, we can now see that we are now top on the top score performers list. And Haru got 6 for 74, and he's on the best list as well now. We are fourth on the player of the series list, and we are top runs with 305, an average of 101.7. It kind of shows how hard it is for me to get on the player of the series list, considering I'm top of the runs, but I'm still only fourth on the player of the series list. Next match is at once again against Oni Hunger. A club T20 against Onihanga at Onihanga Reserve. Let's get it. We are back again at the Onihanga Reserve, playing Onihanga once more. Here we are with Wurry. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen in this game. All right, any changes to our lineup? Not really that I can see. It looks like the same sort of lineup. Leo Leo has officially kind of stolen Tom Rattle's spot in the side, such as the rise of Leo Leo within the side, apparently. I haven't seen him score runs or take many wickets, though, so I'm not too sure about it. But anyway, here's his call by Onihanga. They win the toss. What will they do at their home deck? They're going to have a bat first because it is a belter. Fair play. Bit of a crowd, not too much though. Here we go. All right, we walk out to bat in our 19th match. Average of 56.6. We're one for 19 early doors here. Of course, Hara has the wicket. Leo Leo did get Philip out for 43, but they racked up three for 183 on a belter. Ty did bowl well, actually. Leo Leo, not so much. One for 47. Cone, an over for five runs. Was actually the pick of the bowlers. <laughs> well, not really, because he only bowled one over, but still. Was the most economical bowler after one over. Ty was a pick of the bowlers for sure. One for 25. Arnie gone 16 off 11. He's the T20 specialist in the club, but he's gone early. So we're now going to have to get 164 runs all by ourselves here. 
Not quite. We've got Cohen at the other end, but still. I don't know what I'm saying. That should be a couple. In fact, it actually will get to the boundary. I cannot believe that. I've just worked it off my pad, and it's gone in front of square for four. Unreal seams to get off the mark first ball. We're going to stay on off stump. Wait. Oh, you're kidding. Throw extra cover. I've got the long sleeves on as well. How good is that? And that's four. Oh, jeepers. That was close in the end. You know, I feel like in T20s, it's one of those formats that you can actually afford to watch your partner. Because there's not too much time left in the game anyway. That is a great shot from Cohen. It's going to go all the way. Surely. It's still going. How long is that? It's a big six. Tossed up again from Haro. Again driven in the gap. Will it make the boundary this time? Yes, it goes quicker at the end. One for 47 after the power play. Haro into his third over. He went one for five in his first. 15 off his second. He loves to give the ball some flight, and I'm a big fan of it, if I'm honest. 10 per over needed from here. Tiger would be a great asset to have in this situation, but Cone has pulled that. Flex it, Cone. It's in the air. It's a long way, and it's hit the, it's hit the fence. On the fall, six runs. Would you believe that? Nathan Nelson in the long sleeve as well. Okay, here we go. 50 partnership between myself and Cone. Much needed in this situation, but we've got to kick on here. No ball. No run. Free hit against Nelson. We're not denying that one. What have you done, Nathan Nelson? Free hit is the call, as you can see with the new graphic on one of the newest patches. And yes, indeed, he is overstepped. Look at that. Free hit against Nelson. Is it going to be short? We're just going to go for it. We'll find out where it goes. Slow ball. It's been dispatched. Over extra cover. 4-6. Great shot. That's only my third six in my career, I think. Unbelievable shot. Over extra cover. And there you go. In fact, it's gone over the fence. I thought it hit the fence. No, it's out of here. 96 meters as well. Iotama Maino. Now, Maino has to pay. I'm going to say that much. He got us out. On 147. Well, to be fair, we dropped it on. But anyway, nonetheless, he has to pay. A good throw or a bad throw I'm looking for. Yes! A bad throw would be ideal is what I was looking for there. All right. 10 needed per over from the last 10 overs. One for 85 at the halfway mark. Game on. Here we go. A dab away would be good. Yep. In the gap. A square cut. In the gap. Perfectly placed for four. That is a great shot. That is a top T20 shot, I'll tell you that much. 92 needed from the next 54 balls. Go, go, go. Go. Go again. He's going to have to go quick. Oh, direct T's gone. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're throwing to no one. It's going to be five. Is it? It's slowing up. It's going to be five leg buys. Oh, my goodness. What have they done? It's outside leg, mate. Five leg buys. You wouldn't believe it. Look, it's outside leg. It's not even close. It runs away. We're, they have appealed. We're running down. I guess because everyone appealed, no one backed up. Anyway, Cappy has a shy. It goes through the keeper's legs. And where the backup was supposed to be, for some reason, this guy is chilling over here. And the ball goes to where he was. And then he runs in. So there's no one close to the ball. And it goes for four. Five leg buys. Don't happen too often. So you've got to take them when they do. That is a top shot. From Cone, it's going to be four. 100 runs for Worry. Now we're just starting to get a move on. I tell you what, those leg buys, they could be the difference. You just don't know. That's nine off the first two balls. Four of them were actually errorless. They shouldn't have happened, and it's six more. They were an unforced error is what I meant to say, but that is a great shot from Cone. That's six more. Would you believe it? Cone is just going large. He's now on to... F that was a 54 meter six. You're kidding. Moves to 50. There it is. Cohen brings up a 50 off 38 balls. He struggled at the start, but he's really kicked on now, Cohen. Oh, that is a top shot. Three extra cover. I was going to say it should be four, but it won't be. Great slide. It will be two. We move into the 40s of 25 balls. 38 minutes yeah, under the pump. And it's beginning to show, but Cohen nearly gets his off stump taken out the ground. He's actually running out of confidence as well, which is a, or running out of stamina, which is a little bit of a worry. And perhaps why he's going to play some more expansive strokes. Is it six? It is six. Yes. What a shot from Cone that brings up the 100 run partnership. 
between Cohn and Barker. Well played. Unbelievable stuff there. What a shot. 61 from 43. I mean, this looked like we needed 10 and over so, so badly in this match. And yet here we are. Oh my goodness me. What are we seeing? Oh no. No, he's standing there. He's standing there. Nothing's happening. We're just going to keep running. Until what? He realizes the ball's there. He's long barrier. He's put a long barrier to the ball. We have run five runs. I'm going to put the long barrier to the ball. Reverse long barrier, even though the ball's barely moving. And then finally throw it in. Five runs taken. A difference in the umpires. Look, you can see they've got sponsors, the umpires. I was going to say I would give that out because it is out. It is crashing into the stumps. Don't need to appeal again, Wari. He's given him. Marais Erasmus gives Cone. He's finally gone. He raises his bat for 64 of 45. Well played, Cone. He deserves the applause he gets. Lilo Kali to the crease. The former captain. The first captain of the career mode. So there you go. It's pretty plum. Lilo Kali to the crease. He's come to the crease with confidence as well here. Wari. Oh, you're kidding. That is six. That is six more over deep cover. That has gone a long way. Carly first ball, 48 from 37. Now it's turned into a cakewalk. I mean, I just cannot believe it. Oh, what was that? No, what a shot. Incredible. I've got to watch that again. You have got to be kidding me. Hang on, let me get a proper replay here. That deserves a proper replay as Iotama Maino returns to the crease. He hasn't actually charged though. What he's done is just shuffled across Steve Smith style, or his batting style is Steve Smith, walks across and pulls it. What a shot. 42 from 34. So now it's just about a nerdling game here. It is actually about just taking out... Oh, you're kidding. I mean, I've gone on the back foot. I mean, I, I knew I shouldn't. But I was like, well, I've, I've done it successfully the past couple of times. He's given me... Look, it's hitting the stumps. I don't know if it's pitched in line. I reckon that's pretty dodgy, actually. We're gone for 43 off 29. Now things are looking a little dicey here. And... No. Oh, no. It's pitched in line by about a centimeter. Tiga to the crease. Can we get the job done? Tiga smashes 35 from 12. Cone is the player of the match, and we win the game in the end. I mean, it was pretty comprehensive, actually, I think, because Tiga walks in and whacks 35 not out from 12 balls. I mean, that is just the sort of player he is. Really surprised he's not higher rated than he actually is in the game, because he's just playing like a gem. Look at that. 35 not out from 12. I mean, that is just a sensational win. 3 for 183 they got, 3 for 185 we got, and those are the school cards there. Look at that. I mean, everyone got starts. We got 43 of 29, a big partnership with Cone. 100 stand in a T20. Very good scenes there. And we get home with two overs to spare. Unfortunately, not to get our first T20 50, but we will take the win for the weary side once again. That is going to be it for today's Cricket 22 career mode episode, guys. If you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, hit the post notification bell, join my Discord, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now, everyone.